This is Jean Rubo from the Photoshop team at Adobe. In this first video, I will talk about the improvements we made to shape layers in Photoshop CS6. I will also show you how to create a shape layer. Shape layers have been around since before Photoshop CS6. They used to consist of a solid color content fill layer with a separate vector mask attached. They only had a fill, not a stroke, and you couldn't change between the different fill types, such as gradient, solid color, and pattern. In Photoshop CS6, shape layers are all grown up. There is no longer a separate vector mask. The path, called a shape path, is now part of the layer. A shape layer can have a stroke as well as a fill, and there are even dotted and dashed strokes now, which was one of the top feature requests for Photoshop. Let's take a look at creating a shape layer. You can do this using either of the vector creation tools, that is the shape tools or the pen tool. I'm going to use the rectangle tool here. Next, take a look at the mode selector in the options bar. In CS5 and earlier, this was a set of three buttons. We've changed this to a drop-down with text labels, which should be easier to understand. In this case, I want to leave it on the shape option, which will allow me to create a shape layer. Next, I'll choose which stroke and fill I want for my shape. This can also be changed at any time after you draw the shape. Since I don't have a shape layer already selected, the stroke and fill settings I choose here will apply to the next shape I draw. First, I'll click on the swatch next to the fill label to open the fill panel. At the top of this panel are four icons that specify the type of fill. No fill, solid color, gradient, and pattern. I will cover these panels in more detail in another video, so for now I'll just choose a solid color swatch. Pressing return on Mac or enter on Windows will close the panel. Next we have the stroke settings, stroke color, stroke weight, and stroke details. The stroke color panel is exactly the same as the fill panel. Again, I'll cover this in another video, so I'll choose another solid color for the stroke and press return or enter to close the panel. I'm going to increase the stroke weight slightly and I'm going to leave the stroke details alone. Now that I have my stroke and fill selected, I can simply click and drag on the image to create my rectangle. As you can see, the rectangle has a stroke and fill that I specified in the options bar. In Photoshop CS6, you can also click on the image to bring up this quick create dialog. This will work for any of the shape tools except for the line tool. Each dialog has options that correspond to the various shapes. So for example, the rectangle has width and height available, and the polygon tool has more options such as number of sides, smooth corners, and star. One other thing I'd like to point out is that, as I mentioned earlier, the shape path is now part of the layer instead of a separate mask. So if I go over here and delete the shape path, the entire shape layer will be deleted. So those are the fundamentals of shape layers in Photoshop CS6.